Good day, friends. It's the 20th of January. We're in the middle of winter, winter. Actually, it's gotten a little bit warmer. We had a uh, pretty record cold, about uh, minus uh, 28 Celsius. So, today we're going to talk about, well, the vast majority we're going to talk about is clown world, but not all. Uh, right now, there is a NATO exercise that's gearing up uh, on the border with Ukraine, so in Poland. There are going to be about 80,000 NATO troops, a biggest contingent from the UK that has ever been sent to any NATO exercise. So 80,000 NATO troops on the border, going to start their exercises uh, next month, I believe. Uh, and this is going to be right about the time of Deivka Falls, there's a four-front uh, assault on Abdeevka. Uh From the north, from the west, from the east, and from the south. Well, southwest, south. And the Ukrainians are retreating in different areas. Uh, their biggest uh, uh, defensive sectors are being breached. So they're in retreat. And in the north is the same thing. And there's movement from... Uh, uh, Belgorod uh, Oblast into Kharkov Oblast, especially after the Ukrainian terrorist attacks. Uh, the terrorist regime in Kyiv, that's what it is. The terrorist regime in Kyiv is uh, launching a, a, has launched and continues to launch a no hold, no, no bar holds, uh, holds bar, uh, murder, death, kill assault on civilians. Primarily and first of all on civilians. The same thing they were doing for eight years, uh, murdering the people of Donbass, the Russians in Donbass. I'm now trying to do it all the uh, Russian areas, particularly border areas. Hodges, who, I mean, General Hodges was a three-star general. He commanded the Rump uh, uh, American forces in Europe. I mean, if you want to know what's wrong with the American establishment, What's wrong with anybody above a one star and the vast majority of one stars too? Just look at this idiot. I mean, the guy is an idiot. He has not made one prediction that has come true. Um, I don't know, he's just reading off a cue card, in which case he's a sellout, spineless uh, little uh, bugger, or he's actually that stupid. He's massively optimistic. Oh, the Ukrainians are going to get some more missiles and 30 American tanks and like 13 challengers, and that's going to turn the war. God, Hitler was more rational in 1945 than Hodges's. Well, now Hodges, uh, you know, reality has smacked Hodges in the face like a limp, wet, and half frozen fish. Slapped him once and slapped him twice and slapped him a few more times. So now he's no longer saying Ukraine will conquer Crimea. Yeah, well, you know, he helped. To the, he was partially responsible for that 100,000 Ukrainian dead to capture 100 square kilometers and lose 300 square kilometers in the north. The great counteroffensive. Say hi. We shall conquer the Russians. We are the Americans who have come to show you how to fight properly. Yeah, Hodges. And his ilk. Uh, nothing but perfume princes. So this three-star moron, who, oh, by the way, now says that Crimea has to be made uninhabitable. Gas warfare, biological, nuclear. Let's make Florida uninhabitable right back at you. I mean, this is the level of what was being said for anybody who's not quite grasping the concept here. Sure, we'll fight a war with you through Cuba, and we'll make Florida uninhabitable. I mean, that's the same level of mentality that's in the collective Biden uh, vegetable administration. And nothing much more. You can't expect anything when you've got the biggest group of psychopaths the world has probably ever seen or seen since the fall of uh, the Western Roman Empire. The biggest group of psychopaths sitting in uh, D.C. in power. And these are the guys that are going to launch us into World War III. So you got this exercise with 80,000 NATO troops on the western Ukrainian border, right as Avdeevka is getting ready to fall, and a good chunk of the defensive line is collapsing, and Ukraine morale is in the gutter. There are almost 90,000 Ukrainian POWs. 
Uh, Volga is the signal uh, that they give to establish where they're going to surrender. The whole, the whole company surrendered because they've been just thrown in, cut off, they can't evacuate, they're wounded, they're out of uh, ammo, and expect to die with a grenade in their chest, or to their chest. And guess what? These guys don't want to. Uh, press gangs everywhere, block posts at all cities, uh, just raiding buses. Ra I mean, they're literally taking the bus drivers off these buses, right? Uh, the grifter Zelensky uh, has ordered uh, the manufacturer from, of course, outside of Ukraine, 80,000 uh, uniforms for women, including pregnant women, up to six months. Let all that sink in. And we're taking prisoners of 14, 15 year old boys, and there's been at least two 70 year old men. I mean, just, just let it all sink in. This, West, is what you're sponsoring. This is what you're paying for. And if you think, well, we've got the clown world of French here. Uh, so anyways, let's finish with Avdeyev. Avdeyev is getting ready to fall. So you got 80,000 NATO troops, plus another 120,000 to 150,000 Poles uh, who are on the same border. Plus uh, what uh, the US and uh, NATO has stacked up in the uh, Baltics. So you've got a possible invasion army, not counting the Romanians in the south. They, they were never good fighters to begin with. But still. Uh, so you've got a possible invasion force uh, of somewhere around 300, 350,000 men. Maybe more. That are probably going to act. Because if the day of falls, and it will... There's no way this is not going to happen. And if the, the bigger question is not if of Dave calls, when of Dave Cup falls, and if that starts a cascading effect on the Ukrainian defensive lines, you could quickly see uh, a good chunk of the Ukrainian army collapse, as happens in history. Then the, the U.S. and its uh, stooges in Europe have a choice, and it's not a good choice for them. So all this talk about there may be a war with Russia in 20 years or in five to seven years, that's just to keep the serfs calm while preparations are being conducted. The reality is there may be a war with Russia within the next two months. Maximum one year. That's my uh, prediction. Then we'll all be meeting in the field of battle. And for the Europeans and the Americans and everybody else who's going to be coming, don't expect the gloves to be on like they are for the Ukrainians. Any European city that's part of a country that's hostile, actively hostile in a war with Russia, your cities will get leveled. This isn't going to be anything like with the Ukrainians or Russians. There's not going to be any of this, uh, we're taking the gloves off, or, oh, you can park your HIMARS in the garages or residential buildings, we won't hit them because we don't want to kill the people. No, 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 you're Europeans. You park your uh, HIMARS in a garage or an apartment building, there won't be an apartment building. There won't be a next apartment building. Watch what Gaza is, what the Israelis are doing. We've watched, we've learned your standards, and we will copy them on all of your European cities. Gaza is going to be that standard. So, if that's what you want, just keep sitting on your arses, collectively, and let your government, uh, your owners, who are really owned by Washington, drive you into extinction. I mean, it's your choice. It's a choice of every single individual. And every single individual that chooses to be ignorant in this age of information, well, he gets what he deserves. And so do his kids and his wife. Or husband. Or three husbands or whatever other perversion uh, the Western society can come up with this day. So that that's what you've got. Now clown world. So you got the grifter. Uh, so you got the that big grifter Zelensky swinging his wanker around Davis. Somebody recognize me. Somebody remember me. Somebody give me money. So you got the British that came over there. Um. My God, you know, uh, Sheps is, what, what can I say? Wallace was a font of sanity compared to this little uh, sh shyster. Sheps is just a font of pure stupidity and insanity. 
a country with mostly destroyed it, uh, army, which has two, 200 tanks on the books, and only about 165 of them that are operational. Has a, uh, uh, the Queen of the Seas, who has a fleet half the size of Russia's, whose uh, aircraft carriers barely go anywhere, is constantly trying to push itself into a, a fighting war with Russia. Okay. So they've signed this contract, uh, Sunak ran over, he signed this agreement, a mutual defense agreement. So, yes, Ukraine may have to come to, f to the aid of the UK. Woo! Believe that or not. Uh, and two and a half billion, uh, billion pounds sterling, because bankrupt uh, third world, second third world England doesn't need that kind of money. It's People can freeze in the streets and uh, cardboard boxes for all that matters. Ukraine's kleptocrats need that money. Well, and, you know, and, and the kickbacks that uh, that the uh, the conservatives are going to get. The conservatives, yeah, they'll conserve it all right, right in their own pockets. So, yeah, nothing like a Tory. Of course, Labor's no better. They're just as much as sellouts. So, anyways, then comes France, and France gives a pledge to support Ukraine now, not in a future invasion by Russia, but now, to the bitter end, it'll give a, it'll give 50 glide bombs, which aren't really glide bombs, because they don't really have wings, they have fins, so their range is much worse, unless the plane that launches them uh, gets up really high, but when that happens and it gets up really high, it gets to die really quick, because Russian uh, anti-air systems will pick it up real fast. Uh, 20 uh, scalp missiles and between two to 3,000 uh, 155 artillery rounds. Which, great for Ukraine. It just needs to find 29 more countries so it can have a uh, continue firing at 2,000 uh, to 3,000 rounds a day for a month. So the entire French uh, assistance, if it, ever, if it fully gets to the field and doesn't get degraded, i.e. destroyed on, on its way, is enough for one day of fighting at Ukraine's level. We're firing uh, over 10,000 shells. So three to one, four to one. When they're, from, they're down to 2,000, it's five to one. But this is all part of Macron's. We're supporting them, but we're really not fighting Russia. Um, no, Macron, you're fighting Russia. And nobody in Russia is going to forgive you or forget France. Oh, and ask those French mercs that got barbecued in Kharkov, how they feel about the war. Even the French uh, ambassador was uh, summoned. So there were 60 mercs in a hotel in uh, Kharkov hanging out, and they all got burnt to a crisp. They rot in hell. Uh, and a good chunk of those were French. Oh well, the French gene pool just got cleaned up a little bit. We'll be happy to clean it up the rest of the way for you if you really insist on it. Because, by the way, even if we don't go into World War III, which is a very big if at this point, if you Euros think that once this is over, it'll be business as usual, we'll just go back to being hunky-dory, no, never. To totally not for the next two generations, maybe three generations of Russians. That's not going to happen. We're not you. We're not ready to sell out at the first hint of uh, any kind of money or profit. We're not ready to do anything uh, that you do. We're a little bit different than you. Uh, and you've burned so many bridges and shown your hatred so much. No. You can live without Russia. Well, kinda. Like a second world shithole that Europe is. And we're not Europeans. Why would we ever degrade ourselves to that level of being a European? We're Slavs. We have our own civilization, we're Christian, we worship God. So that doesn't have, that means we have absolutely nothing in common with Europe. Except our skin color and our hair color. And that's not even for very long considering with Europe, how Europe's changing. So that's, that's clown world right there. Oh, so anyways, by the way, in Davis, in formerly neutral Switzerland, which is now also an enemy state, uh, which is... So it's all Switzerland ever had was banking, watches, and being neutral. 
and it screwed all of that when it uh, gave up 30,000 investors uh, to Barack and Biden, Obama, uh, 30,000 American investors. So the banking secrecy went out the window right there, and then did the same to the UK. And now, well, I guess it still has watches because uh, neutrality went out the window too. Congratulations, Switzerland. Now you've got nothing but mountains and ski resorts. Oh, so does France and Italy and Germany. So you and Austria. But really, you got pretty much nothing. Uh, except mass immigration, just like the rest of Europe. So in Davis, uh, they had a conference for peace. That's right. They had peace negotiations, minus Russia, which they didn't invite. They're so desperate for us to come to the negotiation table. I mean, it's pathetic. Please go on a date with me. Please, please, would you, would, please stop. But, 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 please, please stop rearranging your sock drawer and give me some love and give me some attention. Please, please, Russia, anything. Just, just freeze, freeze the fighting. Just, just give us a year so we can prepare to uh, try to kill you all again, like we do every time in history. Just give us that year, please, please. That, that's what Europe looks like to us and America, of course who's leading all of this uh, insanity. Well, sorry boys, ain't gonna happen. Not this time, hopefully never again. At least for two generations, you've definitely opened up everybody's eyes to reality. And thank God, because you know, it got really old telling people the truth and they didn't want to uh, listen. And now you've made that so much easier for people like myself and others, so much easier just by taking the masks off. God bless, and I really, honestly, I don't want the destruction of Europe. I would've just, uh, rather we just lived peacefully, but since that's not given a, a, an option, the only way for us to live peacefully uh, with a present Europe the way it is, is to knock Europe down to the Middle Ages. And by the time Europe gets its ass back up on, uh, and gets on its feet, we'll be so far ahead of you, you're never gonna be a problem to us. So any European people that don't want to go back to Middle Ages with a Sarsatian invasion already in place, you'd best do something about those uh, pedophile perverts that own you in your capitals. Heads on stakes is usually a good first move to let them know that things have gotten serious. You really are running out of time. I mean, seriously running out of time at this point. But it's all up to you. God bless.